install that bracket I swear my car has been driving a little bit better um, I feel like that the fact that it has that bracket the intercooler stays a little more stable and the fact that it's not wiggling around could possibly mean that it's not having a boost leak or anything I don't know I just feel like it's, it's boosting better maybe it's just in my head because I know that brackets there but I just feel like the fact that the intercooler now has pretty much zero room to wiggle around with those both of the brackets on that uh, there's zero chance that it's moving around and air is escaping from the intercooler so those of you guys with access ports, I was driving on the freeway and I hit a small bump and my access port fell off and smashed me in the kneecap. That hurt so bad. Yay, exactly what I want to be doing going 10 miles an hour. Those of you who want to move to California, be prepared to deal with traffic everywhere and every day, no matter what time, because this is the price to pay to live in California is right in front of you. Usually the freeway isn't this backed up and I'm actually pretty surprised it's this bad right now. Oh, I just want to get to the dealer! I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it but there's a motorcycle cop that pulled a guy out of the carpool lane because he was riding by himself. <laughs> just checked in the car at Pony Hills right now. Uh, it's still going to be like an hour or so. I think I'm going to walk down the street and uh, get my coffee remade because they kind of made, they kind of messed up on it. It tastes pretty bitter. And there's Starbucks right down the street, so I probably will just walk down there. You can see the STI, all its glory, that yellow BRZ from my previous video. I feel like I'm always here, man. Always here. I really like this color. Super nice. I really like this blue too, this blue is super nice. If they had this when I was going to get my car, I might have considered it. Just a good lineup, look at this guys, look at this. I'm starting my adventure to get this coffee remade. Starbucks by my house didn't do that good of a job, it's okay. Mistakes happen, I don't mind. Keep me a little occupied while my car is getting serviced. Watch all the people sit in traffic, eh hey. I'm hoping that they do the service pretty quick because I have to go home, be home by 10 o'clock right now. It's um, 8 o'clock right now, so I think they're done. It'll be done by 9, maybe 9.30 at the latest. And then I'm going to have to rush over home, get my dogs out because uh, some agents with the realtor that are helping us sell the house are going to come over. So I could see where the Starbucks is at and I think I was a little wrong. I thought I was a little closer, but it's actually kind of further of a walk than I thought. But. Oh well, we're already halfway there, too late now. I don't know how friendly law enforcement is in this area, but this would be a second candidate for a good meet at night. I see a lot of great lights, a lot of parking spaces. In the future, if ever I host a meet, maybe it'll be right here, Roland Heights. Finally, after my great expedition, we're finally arriving at Starbucks to get my corrected coffee. Let's do this. All right, just got out of Starbucks. New coffee tastes amazing. Shout out to the guy who just remade my drink with no hassle. Sometimes they get really mad when you ask them to remake stuff, but hey, that's the Starbucks policy. You know, they signed up for that. They know the rules. I know the rules, so I'm going to take advantage of the rules. So I was just thinking of a really prime example of what it's like to have coffee in the morning. And I think the best conclusion I've came up with is not having coffee in the morning is like a naturally aspirated, naturally aspirated motor at motor NA. When you wake up, you know, you might feel a little sluggish. You don't feel like you have enough power or energy. So you grab a coffee and all of a sudden you just slap yourself with a supercharger. You start drinking it and all of a sudden you're ready for big boosts. and ready to go a little faster, do your day 
a little bit quicker. So that's it. That's that's it right there, guys. The homie Steven, I used to work with him. He's got a WRX hatch. You can follow him on Instagram. I'll link it in, on screen right now. This is his dope hatch. He's retrofitting some headlights for a company. Oh, you saw the T, dude. That's so sick. You're so lucky. Mag blue. Damn. That's crazy. So if you guys want these headlights, hit up Spider Motor Works, according to Steven. Yep. Here in industry, these are a one on one right now. Steven's a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, Steven's one of one test fitting these. I don't want to hold him up anymore <laughs> from his work and I don't want to get yelled at by his boss. So till next time. Hey, we have to shoot some photos sometime. Always down. Alright, for sure, it. man. All right, just leaving Plenty Hills. They finished my oil change already. Dude, they did it in like 30 minutes. Um, crazy how quickly they did it. I'm very excited. There's an S2000 you saw in a previous video. Um, time to go home and uh, take my dogs out and uh, continue on with the whole big house move thing that uh, is very unfortunate to deal with, but I can't wait till it's over. Just got back to the casa. It's raining a little bit. Ignore those. As I'm getting out of my car, it just decides to start pouring rain out of nowhere. A oh, surprise attack, surprise attack. Who you yelling at, huh? Who you yelling at, boo? Oh, a little chihuahua! A little chihuahua! Alright, alright, ow, ow, Sadie! Come on, who wants to go to the bathroom? Who wants to go to the bathroom? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, go, Lily. Lily. So if you guys have been following this channel for a really long time, you guys probably remember that I showed different like house updates or clips or whatever and literally the house is finally getting, uh, it's like the house sale process is finally coming to a close. We've cleaned so much of the house already so far. Um, it's not 100% perfect, but it's getting to the point where it's pretty much ready. Uh, the realtors have already come taking photos of it and we're just finalizing the process of finding a buyer and getting ready to move out. My room actually looks kind of decent-ish compared to how you guys probably remember it. It used to look really bad and now it's actually looking okay and clean. I'm very excited for this process to be pretty much wrapped up. This whole moving thing has put a tremendous strain on everybody I live with, on my girlfriend, on her mom, on her little brother, uh, little man, as you've seen in previous videos and stuff, and myself, of course, because I go to work and work eight hours a day, or I go to school, or I do other stuff, and then I come home and then help them clean for hours on it. And everybody here has put in a tremendous amount of effort to clean this house and just get prepared for this move. And it's just going to be so relieving when it's finally over and things can kind of return to normal where I just have to focus focus on um, you know my pretty much regular routine stuff and not have to worry about um, just basically we need to get out because of a, a buyer needs to buy this house and going to escrow. Moving has definitely been one of the most stressful things that I've ever done especially in this way we're kind of doing everything last minute and just um, we got some last minute news where we're gonna basically have to be out sooner than expected and I hope that I never have to go through this again I hope that you guys never have to go through this because this is extremely stressful and um, appreciate you guys' homes, guys. That's all I gotta say is it's it's a stressful process of doing this. If you don't believe me, you can ask Little Man because Little Man has done more packing, cleaning, and moving than he's ever done his entire life. So if you guys need to move, hit up Little Man for all your moving needs and expenses. Unfortunately, bros, this is where I'm gonna have to end today's vlog. Um, I just wanna take the chance to thank you guys for coming with me on this journey. Again, this is the Subaru dealership to go service my car. Um, I'm going to be busy having to walk these two little dudes and uh, keep them out while the agent comes to visit uh, our house and take or uh, just get some better idea on how to market this house and uh, help us get it sold. I don't think they like you guys, bros. I don't think they like you guys. Yeah, so I got to go take them out. Um, I also have somewhere to run in Claremont at 1 o'clock to go see uh, somebody. And then I also have some other stuff to do. Jeez, hey! Should I chase her? Let's do it. Again, I'm sorry that I had to keep this vlog relatively short. I have a bunch of stuff to do, so. But I'm gonna be doing my best to update you guys regularly. Every chance that I get to vlog somewhere, I take you guys with me. Anytime that I get a chance to show you an update with my car, with the house, or anything that goes on in my life, I will gladly update you guys and take you guys with me. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. 
Peace out, and I will see you guys on the next video.